Alright, well, here we go. This is the only way to go. I'm gonna duck. This part sucks because there's two of them. Trying to figure out Is there a bottle anywhere. I think what I really need. Ooh, he's got an axe. I see. I can kill that one. Grab his axe and still kill the lady. Here. Fuck! I so did not mean to do that. Am I, am I not out of cover? What the hell? No! Come on, go up, pop up, pop up, pop up! God dang it, I'm so dead. Shit! I think I have to hit that switch. I want to see if I can get his axe. You see what's going on here? As soon as you get hit, the health takes a really long time to regenerate. It knows. Technically, it shouldn't know where I'm at. I don't know what went on there. When I called him, for some reason, she would not get out of cover. You know, you can get out of cover in two ways. One is by double tapping any direction away from the wall. So I could double tap A, S, or D, left, right, or downward. Or you can just cancel it out by pressing the cover key again. I pressed all of those, and for some reason, she would not get out of cover. So I got spotted. Anyway, I did kill one, so hopefully I can pick up his axe and stealth kill this woman. I think she's on the right. I think she went back to her patrolling area. So there is a switch on that wall back there, a lever. So I gotta see if I can get that, but I'd prefer to stealth kill. Actually, I should probably take the axe and just keep it for later. Unless the game's gonna be a real dick about it and. Take it away from me after I get to a certain level. Um, where is she at? What? There she is. Is she gonna stay over there? Because if she is, I think it's gonna make it really easy to stealth kill her. Alright, where's your. This guy had an axe. Where is it? For some reason, either you, you're just incapable of picking it up. Where's his axe at? There's just so much blood there. I don't see his axe. Maybe he threw it at me. Or she picked it up. She... Has a fucking knife. Alright guys, so I looked around, I was looking for that axe, trying to 
I fear the only way to get through this part is to kill her, but I always... I keep forgetting about the second option, and the second option is to... Lure her away. But the problem with that is by luring her over here, she moves really fast, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to move quick enough to get around here. So let's wait until she gets over here to the right again. Over here. I have no idea if this is gonna work. <laughs> oh yeah, this part is not going to be fun. I I don't think they follow you. Yeah, they don't follow you, so that's the plus there. Like all of a sudden you just don't exist. They busted out of those cages for nothing. Is that door gonna shut automatically? That one still senses something. That one said it's spidey senses and tingling. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know. That door is not going to close, but I think I should be safe. Oh, now the door closes. All right. Can I just get down there? Okay, I guess I have to climb down the ladder. Or just drop down. So now we are trying something just climb up. I've gotten this far and I have not picked up any bottles or axes. So I've just been running through this whole thing defenseless for the most part. First time I played this, I at least had a bottle handy this whole time. And the only reason I had one handy the whole time because I didn't know I was carrying one. I didn't know you can store it away in your inventory. Could couldn't do that in the original The Evil Within. Okay, where are we at now? I'm assuming that's the direction we go. I'm still looking for bottles and stuff. Well, not really bottles, but preferably an axe. I wouldn't mind. Uh, I think I go down here. Joseph, you're all right. You too, thank God. Any sign of Sebastian? Nothing. Maybe we can go back and look for him. No. I mean, let's just get out of here first, then we can worry about Sebastian. Can we open this gate? I doubt you and I are strong enough. <laughs> Joseph, watch yourself. I'll be fine. Quick, look around, see if there's another way out. We probably don't have much time. Look around for some way out of here. I think this is why Joseph distrusts Kidman because he's witnessing witchery. Oh my gosh, he can open up doors with her flashlight. What are you doing, Joseph? 
I think this is where they get into a fight just before Sebastian showed up. You remember these gates right here? They lift the gate up, Kidman crawls under there, opens the gate, and then we get sucked down by uh, Ruvik's naked sister. Ah! Kitty! Kitty! Come here, Kitty! I want to spray paint you white! Oh, here we go. Wait, was this here before? I don't know. I, I completely did not look the other direction, so. Yeah, I know. Running up these stairs got to be so tiring. Especially for someone like you who had no... Where's your stamina bar at? What the fuck? What the fuck, Kidman? Um... Is it because I'm too close to it? <laughs> What's going on here? What the hell? It, it, it started working. I guess you gotta stand like exactly face to face. If you're looking at it at an angle, I guess it won't work? I don't know. Oh. Uh, uh, no, that's not going to do it. Um, I don't think it's this one either. Hold on. Oh, it's gotta be this one. Do I have to turn it? I do. Uh huh. Yeah. I ain't such a blonde. Who knows? Maybe she was a blonde at one point. She decided to dye her hair. Focus the efforts of the other programs to support our research. STEM priority has seemingly overridden other departments' individual research. Chemical and botanical studies are focused now on temporary, priming subjects for their inevitable connection. Now that the prototype is up and running, experiments continue. Upon their return from STEM integration, patients are interviewed extensively. While their particular pathologies inform their experiences, there are commonalities. They all experience the same settings, the same occurrences. The world they inhabit becomes larger with every new visitor. This suggests that shards of each user's consciousness are left behind inside the stem, creating a community. It's as if internally a new world is being built. A new fucked up world. Alright. I guess that was it. So there's no hidden safe here? There's another marking on the wall that I should be on the lookout for because we got plenty of statues here. Is it just that one? Oh, there's her stamina bar. You're losing focus, kid. I warned you about that. How could this place exist? I don't understand. What's happening in here? Ruvik knows you're here. He's feeding off you. But there are more important problems. 
that detective. Joseph isn't something to worry about. He doesn't suspect anything. He's expendable. How else do you want me to say it? Remove him. That's an order. David, what are you doing? Killing Joseph? That's not gonna help me find Leslie. He can't be trusted. He'll turn on you. They all will, once they know what you're after. We told you. You're weak, kid. And you're disappointing us. Are you guys all right? We're all right. Sebastian, maybe we can lift this enough for Kidman to go under and open it from the other side. We're counting on you. <sighs> It's odd, though. Why would they catch you instead of just killing you? Maybe he didn't see me as a threat. He. I know who you are. I'm not going to let you take him. You should have followed your orders, kid. There you go, turn around. Alright, so if you guys recall the time when I was talking about how frustrating this boss fight can get, this is it. Oh, fuck you, Kidman! Oh, there's the axe. That was probably a bad idea, though. You can only go this way. So there is a room that you can hide in. Oh, and that light that he just shot, you can actually use to your advantage. Only problem is, it's only going to work once. And he says it too, so he's like, it worked on me once, you think it's going to work again? Just let me get a clean shot. See how he shot the light? I need an axe. Couldn't have gone far. <laughs> yeah, I hate how he 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 can walk faster. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. This is so aggravating. You you, you sneak up on him. Show yourself. So damn it. oh my god, I just had it. Why are you making me do this? Damn it, Joseph. You should have just stayed out of the way. Are there sins you are ashamed of? Is that the third question?
Wait a second. This house. Yeah. No, it can't be. What is this? Oh, look at that. Whoo! I didn't know they had the uh, the iPhone, whatever, back in the day. You know how the iPhone, where if you take a picture and and as you're pressing down the picture button, you just scroll sideways and it takes a wide view picture. <laughs> Are there any secrets here? Somebody rocking it out? Mother would sit in her chair, rocking back and forth, killing time until the next service. She barely spent any time with us. I wondered why she even had children at all. Oh, it's her house. Blood on the wall. Yeah, I, I see there's a thing sitting on the chair, but... She was pointing! I was trying to stay focused on the shadow because I wanted to see if it would have disappeared by the time I got into this room. But... We saw what happened. Miss Kidman, please tell me about your family. Next subject. No. We've prolonged this talk for a while now. It's important for our understanding of you. They never gave a shit. Too caught up in that church of theirs. More like a cult. It was like a punishment. Nothing I ever did was good enough for them. They abused you? No. It was more like neglect. That's why when I just left, they didn't care. They never came looking, they just gave up. And you never went back to them? I did. A couple of years later, they were gone. Everyone was gone. It was like the whole town got up and moved. I should have felt something, but I didn't. And how do you feel about it now? The same. They can rot for all I care. It was strange, though. There's a statue in the center of town, an angel with its head in its hands. I used to just stare at it when I was young, thinking it was sad. But now, I felt like even that statue knew how pitiful life was there. What a terrible place. Is... Alright. I just let the whole, uh... Dialogue just play through, so, you know, if you guys don't ever feel like listening to it, you can always just fast forward. But yeah, we just got through the, what I consider, the most frustrating part of the game. So from this point on, I know we're like, approaching the very end now. So it should be like smooth sailing from this point on. You up oh, door's locked. Can't kick it open or anything? Come on, Kidman. What the fuck, girl? Simply just trying to find my way out of here. And I did. Leslie! Leslie, stop! Leslie! At night, I would stare up at the statue lit up in the center of town. It looked like it was crying for all the wasted life in that place. So the goal here is to get all the lights to face toward the angel, but I think we need one more. So what we actually have to do is find that last piece if I recall it's pretty hidden I think that's where I came from
there is uh supposed to be a statue somewhere so we're trying to get through this door so to do that we have to find that final light piece install it The final piece I'm looking for is supposed to be right here. And I think uh, the clue here is simply... What is that blocking my view? pieces that number seven all right so I'm not missing any we are uh, still looking for the eighth and final piece um at first it looks like you're supposed to go this way actually I think you really are hmm I, I hate doing this too when I have to a piece of my past. Stem must be creating this. Yeah, I hate keeping myself zoomed in like this. But I really have no other choice because I hear something. You hear that zapping? That usually means... Here it is. I think this is it. Here we go. <laughs> Last time I played it, I spent forever looking for that final piece. It was no joke. I just wanted to quit the game right then and there because I was here for probably 45 minutes. And I would live stream in it, so you know, chances are when I'm live streaming a game, I get really distracted. So I don't exactly know what I'm doing. There we go. Oh, I hope I could that that uh the red couch and the cat is in here. These are really Shh. I don't think those are steps. <laughs> Keep that light on. Are these steps? Yeah, they're just really steep. Gotta look left and right because sometimes there's gonna be a little room. What is that? The hell? In life, we constantly search for a place we feel safe. A home we can always come back to. We imagine that place in our minds and are drawn to it. You had a home, but now... That place is here with us. I didn't know I could move. I think that's me moving around. That's the head of something. Did that statue out there not have a head? I wasn't really paying attention. There's probably a head of this statue and... <laughs> oh well. There's gotta be a couch somewhere because... It's right over there.
Okay, so it looks like we're going that way. But I'm going to keep going this way so I can save. And I think that's going to be the end of this recording session. There's still a bit more ways to go, so... I mean, we just got the hardest part of the entire DLC. Or should I say, both parts. Reuben has no idea what he's done. It's not surprising that he doesn't care, either. He was never motivated by fear of Mobius. The STEM prototype works, but only when connected to Reuben. I've checked the details and he customized the whole system to only operate with his own brainwave pattern. I left him alone with the device for far too long. Trusted him too much, and despite all my knowledge in the field, it's past the point of fixing. I can't just flip a switch. And that's not the worst of it. They know, as well. I'm not going to take the blame for this. I will drag him here and make him fix it. I can't imagine what they will do to him if he doesn't. Yeah, don't they end up mutilating him and tearing him apart and then stuffing his brain into a jar and he take control of this entire reality? Should he be thinking of? <laughs> they allow him to take control of this sick reality. Well, anyway, that is it for this recording session for a second. I thought I was looking at a box up there, but look at that cute little skull up there. Shut up, cat. I want to kick this cat. Can I kick this cat? Kick it! <laughs> it sounds like you're kicking him. You hear the thud sound and the cat just chilling in the blood. What the fuck? Holy shit. Oh my god, the cat's eyes are red! I've never noticed that! That's fucking creepy! Usually they're, uh... You know, like hazel, you know, like green or yellowish, but red? Holy shit! That's creepy! Anyway, that's it for this part. Um, we... I think my very next recording session, I will be playing the entire... The rest of the chapter. We should not be that far from the end. Um, maybe one or two more videos in, and that, shut up cat, that should be it. So until then, I'll thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next part of the Evil Within, the Assignment DLC.